what is up guys it's me stranger builds welcome back to a brand new video on screen now the blocks you're gonna need for today's video today's video is a, a part two to a tutorial i made a bit a while back but i was not really intentionally planning on it but um we'll get to that later so starting off um I'm going to be placing those blocks there and putting the vines. Or you don't have to do it exactly how I'm doing it. I just suggest placing vines everywhere on this, but still leaving some gaps in between. And the reason for this is that because when I was looking back... Oh yeah, make sure there's a vine at the top before you do that. So then it will uh, stay like that. But um, I wasn't originally planning on making this video, but just looking back at the build... I really liked it, and I really thought it would be really cool to add, like, a sort of, like, a small version of the area where Billy was, like, um, where he was, like, kidnapped by the Mind Flayer and stuff, and, yeah, so I really wanted to do something like that, but I was like, oh, but I already did the tutorial, so I, so I just, I was like, huh, I should do a part two, so here it is. But I promise you, next build is going to be a Stranger Things build, and it's going to be a remastered one, so it's going to be a good one. So then right now, we're just going to be placing vines everywhere, like, as you know. And then come out, see there's three beams, one, two, three, come one block out, place your terracotta, and then an iron trap door, it's kind of like a waste basket or a waste bin. And then you want to place down the barrels, you don't have to do it in the exact form as I do, but you can just place them randomly, but make sure to get it in this shape at least. So it's, it's like a round like this, I guess, but, um. Even if not, you can even even do your own shape. It's kind of like a do-it-yourself kind of thing. But then if you want to make it easier, place uh, the blocks, like place blocks inside of it. And then you can do um, ones like this. But if you are following mine, then um, I suggest maybe slowing down the video just so you get a, just so you know where to put all the stuff. And so then right now I'm just going to bring it out, make it bigger. And yes, it's actually looking really good as a build. Ooh. It's already coming along. And this is just kind of like wasted storage. That's just outside. And then now we're going to be grabbing some spruce trap doors. We're going to be coming around on the inside. And we're going to be covering up this side because I don't believe you see this from this side. But we can't really use iron trap doors. Even though that's more of the color. But we got to use this because it actually kind of looks pretty good though. And then now we're going to finish up closing up all of them. And boom. Oh, whoops. Oh. If I can get the hang of it. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. And then now we want to go grab some iron slabs. And since this part was kind of uneven like this. Because I sort of messed up the roof. But what can I say? It's an old building. Um, you can place down that like that. And it looks somewhat normal like this. And then here are the next set of blocks you're going to be needing for this. And now you're going to want to start off by coming around here. We're going to actually be extending this and then grab some spruce slabs and then slapping them there. And then you're going to want to, uh, you're going to want to be replacing these, um, well, yeah, first off, you gotta, we, we want to make sure that you can actually walk down the staircase to the area first. And then now you want to replace the iron bars with actual glass because I messed that part up, but it's all right. We all make mistakes. And now we want to, um, let's see, yes, it's actually looking pretty good right now. So then, since it was all black last time we placed it, going to break all around it from here. And then this part was already kind of farmed out because I already built this and I had to set this all back to normal. So and so from here, we want to go six block blocks back. So the uh, length of the room is eight blocks back. And then the... Um, well, yeah, as it's there. And then now, what we're going to be doing is basically just farming out the rest of this. Well, sorry, you want to place your stone there, and then you want to place your staircase. Come all the way back here. And then basically get rid of all this grass right here. And if you are doing, and if you'd like to see me do a tutorial of this in a much bigger form, because, oh, <laughs> just fell through the bedrock. But if you want to see me, if you're on, like, another um, platform than I am, and your world can go more than like four or three blocks down. Well, yeah, well, yeah. Then um, definitely ask for a tutorial on that. And I will definitely, definitely make a much bigger version for you guys to add to this. Because that would be awesome. Just so you guys uh, build this and make it even better. Now all we have to do is then break, uh, break out this wall right here. Like this. 
and then even then we all bro broke out the bedrock and up bottom layer and then this staircase is actually wrong silly me and then now then break that there now all that is left to do is then fill in this area with stone well certain area you want to make like sort of like a uh kind of an outline so then we can have it like towards like the uh uh, sewer drain all areas i believe that's what it is here then let's place some of this around no that's definitely incorrect from what i built okay sorry and so actually um let's uh let's double up the side right here and do it on this side also and then bring this side out bring it out too like this and then now i think it should be good yeah then place then bring in your slabs like this Bring in all of the slabs, fill it in. Now this, huh. Yeah, now let's bring in the uh, stone around here. Like this. We're going to want to bring the stone all the way out. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And then let's bring it all the way around the side. Like this. And then... Sorry if, I, sorry if I stopped through there. I was looking at my photo of what I had already built here. So actually, let's, uh, yeah, let's bring that slab out like that. So then it should be three like this. Boom. I want to take your end, uh, I believe it's a wall. Yes. An end uh, brick wall there. I want to place them on both sides. Then you want to just bring your stone all the way around like this. All the way. Boom. And then I want to place it um, in that corner area. And so we're going to actually just be filling in all of this before we add, like, the uh, sewer drain hole areas. So then I want to break this air that layer right there. And, guys, thank you for all the support I've been getting on the channel. It's been absolutely insane. Like, like you guys are just loving the videos recently. It's just, it's just awesome seeing all the support. I'm really thankful for you guys. And if you're currently not subscribed, you should definitely subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. But anyway, let's get back to the build. So now, what we have to do is, let's see, if my calculations are correct from the photo I'm looking at, yep, so there's a drain here like this. And I think we're just going to leave it alone like this, yep. So it should be like a one block in between. And then you want to skip these two, the corner areas, and I'll place two there. And then, there we go. And then, after this, now... Oh, yeah, actually, break that bedrock there, because we don't really need that. And then, oh, yeah, break that block. I actually did that. Then, go 14 blocks back, like this. And this sped up footage here. Let's see, counting it. And then, break, break some more. How do I get a hole there? <laughs> that's, like, the most weirdest thing that's ever happened. It's just some random hole. <laughs> Let's see, then then you want to line it along with your stone brick stairs all the way to here. And then you want to place it on this side too. This part gets a little bit tricky because it's all about um, uh, placing it in the right position. So it might be a little harder. And so then you want to place it along here. Sorry if this is too dark to see, but um, yes. But <laughs> um, Then you want to bring this all, all the way along here. The reason that's 14 is because you want to do it to the extent where you can see, like, only darkness at the end of the tunnel. So it looks like it goes on for much longer. Or you could just add, like, uh, black concrete, which is what I had done one time when, uh, which is what I had done one time on the, uh, I had too much light show, uh, show through this. And then 14 blocks back yet again. And then we're going to be basically repeating the same process on this just for this one. And then the other two ones are just a, a tad different. The last one is definitely going to be much easier. I can promise you that. But, um, but yeah, now you got to get here. But if you want to make it easier, I suggest, like, uh, since the wall that my back is facing to right now, my character, um, what you should do is farm out that area. And then you can do uh, this and make it easy so you're not, like barely fitting through this area like this but uh yep good and count it now and then i think that's good we'll break one more like this boom and boom and then now we gotta bring this all the way back like this and 
it gets pretty hard. And if you definitely need help, break the floor below because that will help. And yes. Here we go. And yep. Let's see. Yep, there it is. So now, yes, actually, yeah, it's looking good right now. It's looking good. Oh, <laughs> what? I mean, I was really trying to get get that there. Oh, what? There's a problem here. Okay, we got it. We got it. So then we'll keep bringing this out here, like this, and almost done. Okay, keep bringing this out here like this, and boom. And then these other two should be easier because they don't go as far back, but but they're pretty easy. And then now we're going to want to do the place that there. And then you want to go seven blocks back this time. And then this one's going to be more interesting because it's got a curve in it to make it look like the tunnel's going somewhere. And then it just turns, but really it just turns and there's some more dirt. <laughs> and so break out this four right here. And then you want to align it now with... Uh, the stone bricks i mean i don't know if this is much harder but i mean it goes a little uh, far back so it should be just a bit easier and then place this and then line this all the way around just like this just like on the other ones which i suggest if you need help in this corner you should break the block below like i'm doing right now and then you're going to want to loop this all the way back around which if i get it properly there we go Place that there, and that, nope, I did upside down one. Yup, there we go, perfect. And then you want to bring this all the way down and around here, just like this. And then place it, uh, line it along here, and boom, that's the other side. And then now this is the final side to it. This time we're going to go four blocks back, and we're going to be doing the same curve trick, but it's just going to be this. So, we're going to start on this outside area, come around here, and make sure it's not like that, but it's just normal like this one. It's so, here we go, then we're going to bring it around back here. And then now for our side here, we're going to bring it around, like this. Oh, hold up, we got to we gotta get that also there first though too. And then loop this around, place this in here. Oh, no, place upside down the normal. And boom, there we have it. That is the most simplest, well, not really simplest, but thank you all for watching and consider subscribing if you are new. And that is that, the part two of the Brimborn Steelworks tutorial. Oh.